Hey, I'm Ashley and I'm one of the agents here at Tiny House Listings and I love helping people find their perfect tiny house. I have my tiny house right here behind me and I'm so excited to share an amazing listing that I'm representing in this tour video coming up. The link to the listing and my contact information will be in the description below. So check that out and I can't wait to hear from you. Hi, this is Jolene, the schoolie, tiny home. Inside, we'll take a quick peek. Uh, we've got our shower on top here and our picnic table on the side as well, and our pretty blue front door. So, come on in, and I will get her started up. We have two couches in here because we've got three kids. Um, we have a TV here, and it's a Roku TV. And there is also a panel in the back where you can hang it up above the bed. We have the uh, shore power on the bus, which is what is running the lights currently. So um, all the electrical in here works. And we've got these cute little color powered lights. Um, the top of the bus has solar panels all the way across it, and it's enough power to run the bus during the day um, if you're camping or if you want to live off-grid, you can live off-grid with this bus. There's also a 300-gallon water tank underneath the bed back here. And this is our table. At one point, it went all the way over the wheel well, but um, it functions better as a table here. And um, we chose not to have a stove top in here. We use a um, little oven down here as well as a pressure cooker. And that freed up all the counter space here so that it's usable. We also have Velcroed all of the drawers. That way they don't slide around when you're driving the schoolie. Um, so that was a big plus for me because I didn't want dishes flying everywhere as I was driving. We have, um, this is our fridge. It's a little bigger than a mini fridge. It has a really nice size freezer and pretty decent sized refrigerator part as well. And then some spice racks up here. Okay, over here we have got some bunk beds and um, I've just got some foam cut out in there right now. Um, my kids love these. There is storage underneath them, but the well well is also under here. So you kind of have to be careful about what you put underneath here. There's a little shelf up here and then the window sill. The kids like to use that. These work on the solar power as well, which is really cool. Uh, this is a hand painted mural, which is awesome. And then back here, we have the bathroom. I've got a water heater back here. It was just serviced. 
and we have the shower which actually sits on top of the will well and it's really cool because you can see the stars at night this is the split unit it does heat and air has the remote here and we also have a skylight up here, which you can get on top of the schoolie and check out the solar panels and the shower. And there's a kayak um, thing on top as well. And then um, this right here is for the solar panel. Up here it tells you how much uh, battery power you have. We have it turned off right now, but these are also the batteries and the inverter for the solar panels. This right here is the 300 gallon water tank. So for a family of four, that 300 gallons should last you about two weeks. We also recently just sealed the top of the school bus and so that should be good to go. And this back here is where the magic happens and we'll fit a queen sized bed. We are gonna go up on the roof here. That way you can kind of see the solar panels and everything. Okay, up here you can see the solar panels. We've got four of them. You can also see the um, HVAC unit over there. The top of the shower is right here. You can also see that we just recently did the rooftop as well. And then we've got the skylight up here, which is awesome. These are the storage racks. You can store stuff, strap it down. Um, really good to put kayaks here.